Another important filter operator is the minus sign. The minus sign is just a hyphen that's put in front of a term that you want to have excluded from the search results. In our example here, we're using Tesla coil minus the word circuits. The way to think about this is that when you put a minus sign in front of a term, it's as though you're erasing it from all of the search results that you've gathered so thus far. Here's a little illustration to give you an idea how this works. If you imagine that oval as being the space of all possible results that are returned by your query Tesla coil, when you add the minus circuits to that query, what it does is it knocks a hole by taking away all the web pages, all the results that have the word circuits somewhere in it. So what minus is really doing is figuring out a way to exclude results. Think about it that way as a way of erasing or excluding or filtering down from all the possible results to just the ones you want without that idea. You can also add multiple minuses together in order to exclude multiple different kinds of invasive terms that are getting into your results and you don't want. For example, if we're looking for a recipe about salsa, we might do a query for that and discover that there are multiple definitions of salsa. There's the dance, there's the music, there's all of those different word, different definitions. By using the minus dancing or minus music, we can actually focus just on salsa recipes. But now suppose I'm trying to get a recipe that doesn't have tomatoes in it, I'm allergic to tomatoes, I would then use minus tomatoes in that way. Let me give you another example as a way of focusing the way this works. Let's consider looking for the works by Michelangelo, but we're not actually interested in Michelangelo, the guy who did the Statue of David. So let's do a search for Michelangelo, and I'll let Google give me the correct spelling there. You can see the results now are all about Michelangelo, the famous Renaissance artist. How do we get Michelangelo the names of the restaurant or Michelangelo some other kind of uh, result out there? What we would do is again use the minus symbol, minus, in this case, let's choose a term that seems invasive, descriptive, artist, like that. And now what we're seeing are all different kinds of results from Michelangelo that don't include the word artist anywhere on the page. In effect, what you're seeing here is the removal of all those pages. It's important to notice that we need to not have a space between the minus sign and the term. In effect, if you put that space in there, you're just saying salsa dancing. And now you're starting to emphasize that term, which is not probably what you meant. So keep the minus sign really close to the term you're trying to exclude, and you'll get the effect you want. What the minus operator does is allows you to filter in another way. We've got three filter functions now that we can use, minus, file type, and site. There are all ways to take your query sets, your results, and focus on just the kinds of stuff you want.